Now, my safety here in this home, I've been here 43 years, never had a break in. My husband got sick one afternoon and I carried him out by EMS to the hospital. I left around maybe two or three o'clock in the afternoon. I didn't get back till the next day. And my children were so upset, they were all at the hospital too. And nobody had ever thought that I left this house wide open. When I came back the next day, two young men from, hangs around the corner at Vermont Liquor. They were sitting on my steps. They said, the first thing we want to ask you, Ms. Matt, how is Mr. Turner? And secondly, we want to let you know that we've been sitting here to make sure that nobody go in. I said, come on in, walk through the house, and uh, make sure that you're all right. And they left. You have made relationships with your community I made them to with the community. I don't think that just because I don't drink, uh, I don't do drugs, that I'm better than you. Or because I might have a little bit more money than you have, or a little bit better looking car, a little bit better clothing. I don't think I'm no better than nobody else. The same respect that I give to my friends, I give to those around that corner because I understand they're suffering. Something has triggered in their mind that put them in this devastating place of their life. So not speaking to them and not treating them like they're human, it's not going to get me nowhere. What is it going to get? It ain't going to give me no more money. So I speak to everybody. If they come by here and they're hungry, if they want a cup of coffee, I give it. I don't push it out the door. They come in this house. Some people call this the community house because they come in here. You don't need no invitation to come to my house. You come. Mm -hmm. And this has brought a good relationship in this Western community that I am safer here than I would be if I moved up in the Highlands.